Hey guys, cool blonde way back. I'm Rick. I'm Maggie. And we are back with Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex. Last time on? We wait, we didn't meet the laughing man last time. No, we're in an arc. We've no, been But we've finally gotten an arc, yeah. Yeah. It uh, seems like it this whole conspiracy goes pretty deep. It's infiltrated the police at the very the very least. Uh now it seems like the superintendent is in danger. Yeah. Major's trying to save them. Um, there's a big virus that they're dealing with. Mm-hmm. There's push-out interceptors. Yeah, so the officers had interceptors, which allowed them to surveil, like, their eyes, whatever they saw. Mm-hmm. Hack that information to see if they were getting too close to them. Like, it seems like the one big corporation's involved. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's like, I enjoy the the whole, this is a fantasy thing, but uh, this stuff is seeming less and less like a fantasy. <laughs> no, it's definitely science fiction. Mm -hmm. Ghost in the Shell, some of the best in the show, seems to be as well. Yeah. So let's go. Whew. I don't know if my brain was ready for this. No, I don't think so. I'm trying to piece it all together. So the chief's idea is that the corporation made the laughing men man themselves in order to draw attention away from their bad doings. And so he never existed to begin with, but society kind of latched onto the idea of him in his fight against corruption. Mm-hmm. And so that just spawned these people to act individually. I think so. But that doesn't explain who shot Nanao and who was hacked into the brain. Well, the person who shot Nanao was the one that was planning it from that side. Yeah. Like, I think we're dealing with, like, many different parties. Like, there's the side that has the corporation and the police, and then there's the invisible person that was in the brain, and then there's also just the people that have, that are the standalone complex in, in admiration of the idea. I mean, the guy that shot the now was probably just, you know, a flunky of the cop slash corporation area. They had the plan. I wonder what like, Nanao was getting out of it. Because, like, the idea was for him to be arrested and blamed as the laughing man. I guess he just wanted the fame and notoriety. He didn't yeah. mind going to prison for it. Yeah, or, like, I don't know how they planned to, like... Like, was he going to have a jury trial? Because the laughing man seems to be quite a folk hero for a lot of people. So that could be kind of difficult to... Well, especially since... Bets with. Like, now, as far as we're aware, was not, uh, like, the one, he was not the original Laughing Man. No. So, but he was involved in hacking, like, the security guards and the attempted assassination, I suppose. Like, I figured, the way they were talking, it sounded like that was a Class A hacker or something like that. Like, something that's rare. Well, if it's set up behind the scenes from the people that are the bosses of those people that got hacked, then it's like, I mean, they put those interceptors in those cops' brains. That's like, true. It seems like it would be very easy to set all that stuff up way ahead of time. But uh, Dido was a part of that group. But so they, was the assassination attempts, were they always supposed to miss? I think so. I mean, the fact that they just kept missing. He I got think, shot. Yeah, but that was that could have been from the standalone people. I suppose that's true. So they had the laughing man make the threat against him, and then the people saw that and were called to action. Yeah. To help or to take up that cause. And then it's interesting. I mean, just the idea that people's brains can be hacked, but like they call the fix for it a vaccine. Mm -hmm. which it's weird that you, you would have to have like biological doctors, but you'd also have to have like cyber doctors and you'd have to have doctors who specialize in the intermixing of both. Yeah. Yeah. 
like working on these cures and vaccines for physical ailments as well as for the cyber ailments. I know that's what I've always thought. It's like, oh, it's like, it'd be cool to have like those fancy powers and such. But then you think about like, oh, the the trouble I have just getting my own computer to do things. Well, you it's not plugged into me. You need even another one. You need like a mechanic too to work on the actual mechanisms mm -hmm. as well. Software, hardware, bioware. <laughs> hmm. Spiritware. Ghostware, I should say. Ghostware. That's right. I'm confused. I don't know who's a bad guy, who's a good guy. Well, I don't think we're supposed to know. Like, I think that's the point. Uh, I, I do like the long-form storytelling. Yeah. And like, the ability... The, like, trusting your audience to stay with you and... Not take long breaks between episodes. <laughs> well, not need the answers right now. Like, I don't know if we ever get these answers. I assume we will, if Section 9 is going to continue investigating. But we might go to other cases and come back to this later on at mm -hmm. some point. Um, I mean, the show reminds me a lot of Cowboy Bebop in some ways, which had a few, like, mostly character storylines that continued throughout the show. Yeah. Which this is more about the villain, it seems. It's like we haven't spent a lot of time learning about Section 9, I feel like, for the most part. Yeah, we don't know who they report to or how they were created or other than, I don't know, maybe he's, maybe the guy with the crazy hair is just a rich dude <laughs> that created these people and they can't exactly stop him from being a watchdog of some sorts. Like, I don't know. Maybe. But I'm most curious as to like why they do the things that they do because they seem to be above corruption and influence, uh, certainly compared to some of the others that we've seen. So, like, why are they that way? Is it just this mor this morality, this sense of justice that they hold, or is it something else? Yeah. And if they start getting closer, it's like, are the people that are close to them going to start getting targeted and such? Like, I don't think everybody's as good as, good as the major dodging. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you think, like, this is the sort of show where main characters are going to die? Like, of Section 9? Yeah. Or do you think <sighs> they'll be, like, severely damaged, and then the next thing we'll see, like, their severed head floating in a jar? Well, the thing is, like, what is dead in this universe? Exactly! That's what I mean. It's like, oh, he just got downloaded into his, um, his um, helper unit or something like that. As long as the brain can survive, I think there are all okay for the most part but i mean it's possible like especially if they if there is really a laughing man and he was the one that's um was in the brain at the end there like if he targets them i feel like they might be more susceptible to that kind of attack than a physical attack well if, if there's someone that could be if there is, like, a triple-A hacker or whatever like that, that's trying to unravel this as well and trying to expose it all, it seems like they'd be investigating just as much as Section 9. So... It would be interesting if, like, the Laughing Man sent emails or communications or somehow hacked to give the corporation the idea of staging the Laughing Man. Mm-hmm. So, like, they thought that they were coming up with it, but they were actually manipulated by this dude all along. Another layer deeper! <laughs> That's good. I don't know. It's really intriguing. And yeah. the, the action was good in this one, too. That one, like, stick blow in the arm. Super devastating. And I love seeing... high heel. That was good. And then the robot uh, nailing the guy to the wall. <laughs> So cute. Well. <laughs> so polite. Holding that giant man to the wall. He had like steam powered like Yeah, he kind of more full metal alchemist style of like that he got exhaust <laughs> and such. Made me think of Alita a little bit too. Oh yeah. Yeah, really good stuff. I don't know how to take sh I don't know how to take notes on this like I don't know what's important, what's not. Like, I either take notes on, li like, literally everything, or 
I'm like. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's good. It's very complex. It's certainly the thing that I feel like I need to watch everything I've seen again. Yeah. To like really get an understanding of what's going on. But uh, part of it's just learning is like what's possible in the world. Yeah, absolutely. This it, is one of the few shows where I feel like I can't tell where they're going exactly. I mean, sure, this is just six episodes in, but like most of the other shows we've watched, like animes and such, it's you know you can kind of tell like when they hang a lantern on something. It's like ah, oh, that's that's gonna be a theme later on or something like that. Yeah, I'm not sure how min how much like. Because I know this came out after the manga and after the movie, but they're all not exactly connected. But I wonder if any of the stories relate to one another. Because, like the action scene in this, where like a- anyone could be taken over any time, like that reminded me a lot of the Matrix. Which I know the Matrix was inspired heavily by Ghost in the Shell. <laughs> yeah, I could see that for sure. <laughs> but I wonder if that idea was in the older one. Because I think this came out after the Matrix. When did the Matrix come out? Like, 99? Or is that crazy? I don't know. When did The Matrix come out? Matrix was 99. Um, I'm like, 12, 22, 21. There must be a new Matrix coming out. When was it? 99. Ah. This show was 2002. But I know the Ghost in the Shell film and the manga came before 99. Mm Mm-hmm. So I wonder if, like, this episode pulled from... The Matrix, or if it already existed in the the Ghost in the Shell fiction, or if it just isn't related to either of those, and it was just More its like own idea, or from some other sci-fi source that I'm not familiar with. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm looking for the next one, though. Definitely. I feel like I need the next one to explain the last one. To la- explain the last five. Well, let's get there. Hey guys for watching our reaction to Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex. We want to see more, and if you want to see us seeing more, you can right now over at patreon.com slash blindwave. Also, you can see that at blindwave.com, where you can also check out our shop with stuff like this.